At an Army Ranger training camp deep in the hills of North Georgia is a group of Air Force EOD airmen. These explosive ordnance disposal experts are here for two days of intense, real-world, scenario-based training. The story begins at Dobbins Air Reserve Base, where this group of explosives professionals is completing a two-week training course culminating in helicopter insertion into the adverse terrain of the North Georgia mountains. The instructors here are also the creators of this specialized training program, and their focus is preserving the lessons learned in recent years to pass on to the next generation of EOD technicians. This new generation coming in right now and are seeking to upgrade in their, in their skill levels. We're too young to actually get that during the war years. So now, in an effort to preserve the knowledge, so we're not relearning it in the next fight, we get to uh, mix seven levels with the five and the threes and uh, mm -hmm. basically pass on that knowledge and techniques and how to safely operate. This is where that, those experienced NCOs really come in handy because there are guys who've done flyaway missions in Afghanistan and everything and they can speak to the loadout. They can speak to the gear selection. They can speak how to carry things and they pass that on down the line. I can't think of another place I can get active duty reserve and guard EOD techs together to actually share their experience, the knowledge, and all the lessons learned that they've had through personal experience other than the uh, Viper training program. And without it, really one of these guys is going to be able to cross load knowledge one to the other. The younger troops who are still in upgrade training are quick to recognize the value of this program. This is stuff that we need to do. It's refreshers, it's new training, it's new stuff that you learn. Uh, it's absolutely vital. Funny thing is, like stuff that I thought that I knew pretty well, like our, our uh, x-ray systems, I've learned tenfold here than I have just trying to fumble my way through it. And it's all due to these instructors. These guys, they, they know the job better than anyone. And just coming into it, they teach you a lot. Even the more experienced EOD techs are impressed by the realistic nature of this training. I think what was the, the capstone of the course for me is being able to take and load up on a helicopter, come out to an LZ, and they drop you off, you do some land nav, you get to your problems, and you take care of the problems. You, you camp out here overnight, and it's very realistic to things we would do in the real world. You can't get this kind of training at home stations sometimes, depending on where you're stationed. You don't have access to mountains, you don't have access to, you know, land mass that you can just go out and do these things in. And coming here, it really helps to be able to collect up all the training that you've done at home station and actually be able to really apply it in the real world. Part of what makes this training so successful is the unique partnership between the Air Force and the Army. Something unique to Dobbins is uh, how much help I've uh, been able to get joint service. We're flying out on Army Black Hawk helicopters into the Rangers Mountain Warfare School to operate an Air Force EOD program. I haven't known of any other place that's got that much joint service cooperation. Reporting from Dobbins, I'm Tech Sergeant Benjamin T. Hayes.